A story that I think about often are the three daughter-in-laws of Philip IV of France. They were the wives of all three of his sons who did become king. They were named Margaret, Joan, and Blanche. Joan and Blanche were sisters, and Joan was only saved from what happened later because her husband stepped in. All of this was started by Isabel, their other sister-in-law, the daughter of the king of France. She was a total snake in the grass, got her sister-in-laws arrested, and ended up having two thrown into a dungeon of darkness for eight years. Isabel and her husband, Edward II of England, came to visit France, and with her, she a couple of embroidered coin purses, and she gave them to her brothers and her sisters-in-law. The ladies didn't like them, and so they handed it to their guards to have. But this wasn't found out until a year later when Isabel came back to France to visit again. Isabel notices the coin purses in the hands of guards, and so she runs to Daddy and says, Oh, look, they must be sleeping with them. The knights who had the coin purses on them were captured, they were tortured, they confessed under torture and found guilty. And the three sister-in-laws were tried before the French Parliament. Only Joan was acquitted of the charges. Margaret and Blanche, they were found guilty. Their heads were promptly shaven and then they were taken and thrown into an underground dungeon without windows, without light, and held there for eight years. Margaret ends up becoming queen but spends her whole queenship in the dungeon and has no power. Then Blanche is set to be queen but her husband calls for an annulment. Here is a depiction of the Pope annulling their marriage. And poor Blanche, at this point, she was brought to the surface to live where there were windows in the dungeon. And she was so sick, she ends up passing shortly thereafter. It was mentioned when her husband was remarrying, oh, she's passed. And then she was largely forgotten about. Of course, Isabel, the sister-in-law who started it all, goes on to do worse things. I mean, she even overthrows her husband in England. Your thoughts?